war in Kaduna as bandits and soldiers engage in gun battle. Security agencies have informed the Kaduna state government that armed bandits on Wednesday attacked Katama village in Chinkun local government area and kidnapped some locals, mainly women. This was confirmed in a statement signed by Samuel Aroma, Commissioner, Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs, Kaduna State. According to Aroma, the bandits were initially engaged by local vigilants who defended the village before troops were mobilized to the location. Four persons, Bulus Badi, Hassan Zamai, Lawa Pada, and Kefas Auta, including vigilants, were killed in the gunfight with three others, Amos Doma, Zamba Ali, and Bomboy Busa, injured. All the kidnapped women were rescued by the troops. In response to the attack, air platforms were swiftly mobilized for armed mission over Katama village and Kusasu village in neighboring Niger state. While ground troops headed to the location, the air component went ahead and neutralized several bandits as contained in the operational feedback to the Kaduna state government. According to the feedback, bandits were sighted at Katama clustered amid large heads of cattle with other fleeing the location on motorcycles. They were quickly engaged by the fighter jets and neutralized. During armed reconnaissance over neighboring Kusasu village, bandits on motorcycles were sighted fleeing from the aircraft and were engaged as some abandoned their motorcycles and took cover in the bush. Furthermore, missions were conducted over Albasu, Rahama, Sabom, Beni, Kaya, Rikau, Galadimawa, Kerewa, Kindanda, Yadi, Dungu, Dawa, Ngadi, Takama, Kuduru, Kuduru, Ongwa, Yakutra and Kaduna Benin Gwari Road, spanning Benin Gwari, Giwa, Igabi, and Chinkun local government areas. At Yadi, bandits were sighted on foot and on motorcycles with large heads of rustled cattle and were duly engaged. Other locations were calm with normal activities observed. Responding to the report, Governor Nasser El Rufai sent his heartfelt condolences to the families of those killed by bandits at Katama and prayed for the repose of their souls. The governor further expressed satisfaction with the operational feedback and commended the military for sustaining the temple in taking the fight to the bandits. Thank you for listening to this news. So, El Rufai can appreciate yeah? El Rufai can appreciate. Is he not the one that said that his community is safe? Yeah. Huh? Is he not the one? <laughs> look at look at what 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 has just happened in Kaduna State, if not for the quick intervention of the of the soldiers. Only God knows what would have happened in Kaduna State. Only God knows. Eh? When you tell Erufai that, look, this is what is happening in your state, he will tell you that, no, my state is protected, that nothing is happening in my state. Can you imagine? Hmm? You see? This is what we are talking about. <laughs> my viewers, I, for one, will want to say that um, the people of Kaduna on their own side should just if possible the community should just come together and save themselves they should save themselves because I'm not sure Aerofi 
it's ready to do anything it's not ready to do anything for anybody a man that doesn't know what is happening in the community a man you will approach and tell him that look at this is what we have just witnessed in your in your in your state he will be arguing with you he knows all Hmm? Let's look at the gun battle the, the Nigerian soldiers engaged with the with the bandits. If not that the soldiers were strong enough to battle with them, only God knows what would have happened. Okay, look at the people that they killed. Look at the people that they killed. We won't say that. We won't say that we thank God because they killed people. They killed people. Only God Almighty will grant this, uh, this, um, this, this, uh, this ones that have just died a happy repose. Only God Almighty. We, we thank our God. We still thank our God because if not for God intervention that made these soldiers to come on time, I wonder, I wonder what would have happened. I wonder. Instead of a to raise alarm, it will be challenging issues with you. As far as I am concerned, Kaduna is exposed to crisis, is exposed to, um, to attack. Many a times they, uh, they, they have been attacked by hoodlums. They have been attacked by these bandits and they are still being attacked. They are still being attacked. So the people should protect themselves. They should protect themselves. They should not wait for Erufai. They should not wait for Erufai. Because Erufai only speaks for himself. So, my dear viewers, please come in and air your own part of this comment on this video. Deem it free to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.